When we hear the word average, hopefully we're thinking kind of we add numbers up and we divide by how many there are. We can find an average bowling score. We can find an average grade. We can find an average height, all different sorts of things. Well, today we're going to be finding the average value of a function. So you will be able to, at the end of this lesson, find the average value of a function over an interval. Okay, the way that we're going to do this, if we would like the average value of something, again, basically what we're going to be doing is adding our values up and then we'll divide by how many there are and that gives us the average and when we're talking about the average value we're basically talking about that average y value okay and what we are going to do is use this formula to find the average value basically you'll notice it says 1 over b minus a that's really the same thing as dividing by how many there are when I go from b to a how many spaces are there and then I'm going to multiply it by the integral, because basically the integral is adding it up. If you can think of when we did Riemann sums, we were adding a bunch of rectangles together. That's pretty much what the integral does for us in these problems. So our formula will always be 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x. So let's go ahead and do some problems. All right, this first one says to find the average value of the function over the interval. So to get the average value, I'm going to write the formula first, 1 over b minus a times the integral of a to b of my function. So first of all, one over this would be my a, this would be my b, so I'm going to have one over two minus one half, and I'm going to simplify that a little bit. One over two minus one half would be one over three halves, and one divided by three halves is the same thing as multiplying by two thirds. So actually on the outside we're going to have a two thirds. Okay, and then from here I'm going to go from a to b, so I'm going to go from one half to two, of my function, and my function is x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. And now from here, we can actually use the capabilities of our calculator to do that. So please grab your calculator out and let's try it. All right, we have our calculator out. Let's go ahead and type in our function. We'll have x squared plus 1 divided by x squared and then I'm going to go ahead and quit. And then I'm actually going to put, I'm actually going to put the two thirds in first. So I'm going to have two divided by three. And that's just so I don't forget it later. So we have two thirds and then we need the integral. So we'll go to math nine. And then I need to tell it what my equation is. It's in my y bears. And then comma, my variable will always be x. And then comma, I would like it to start at point 5. And I would like it to end at 2. And then if we press enter, we do get 2 as an answer. All right, so let's go back to our example. So in my example now, um, my answer ended up being 2. So that would be my average value. That was the average y value over that interval. All right, let's try another one. The function v of t equals 40 over t minus 5 squared models a runner's velocity during the first four seconds of a race. Determine the average velocity of the runner during these seconds. So this time, instead of doing an average something, it's just telling us to find the average value velocity. So we're going to set it up the same way. I'm going to put 1 over. My b and my a would be it would start at 0 and it would end at 4. So this would be my a and that would be my b. So it's going to be 1 over 4 minus 0 which would just be 1 fourth. And then the integral is going to go from 0 to 4. And whatever it asked me to find the average of, that's the formula that I'm going to do. So it says to do the average velocity. So my velocity needs to go there. And this is with respect to t this time, so I'm going to put dt. I could leave my answer like this, or if I wanted to plug in the velocity value, the equation, I could do that as well. Okay, so now at this point, let's grab our calculators out again and try this problem. Okay, so we're back at y equals, and we're going to go ahead and plug in that formula, which was 40 divided by x minus 5 squared. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and quit. Um, what was on the outside? It was 1 fourth, so I'm going to put in 0.25, so I don't have to do a bunch of parentheses. So 0.25. And then again, we want the integral, so we'll do math 9. We are going to look for y1. And then we'll put comma, x, comma, starts at 0, comma, ends at 4. And then we close it 
and we get an answer of 8. So going back to my example, the average velocity during this race was 4, and it doesn't tell me what it was. I could put meters per second or feet per second. For this part, I'm not exactly sure, but that was the average velocity. So hopefully now you can determine the average value of a function.